Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on solving equations with variables on both sides. So by variables on both sides we mean questions like this one here where there's some x's on this side and some x's on the other side of the equal sign as well. It's not always going to be x's, sometimes it might be called y's or t's or any letter at all really, which is why we call it variables. Now before you attempt these, you really need to be confident on solving your regular two-step equations. For example, 2x plus 5 equals 17. If you can't yet solve these, you need to master those before you attempt this. So there's one simple step that we can do for these questions in order to turn them into those simpler questions. So if you look here, the problem at the minute is that I have 13x on this side and 11x on this side. I want to have all my x's on just one side of the equal sign. So I'm either going to choose to get rid of this 13x by subtracting 13x from both sides, or I'm going to get rid of the 11x by subtracting 11x from both sides. So I can do either one of these things, but the sensible thing here would be to subtract the 11x so that I don't go into negatives. So I'm going to take away 11x from both sides. So on the left hand side I have 13x take away 11x, well that's 2x and then I've still got my plus 1 and on the right hand side my 11x take away 11x is nothing so I'm just left with 9. Now I've turned this into a basic equation that I can solve, so you should already know how to do this next bit. I'm going to take away 1 from both sides. That gives me 2x equals 8, and then I'm going to divide by 2. So my final answer is x equals 4. Now I can just double check this works, because if x is 4, then 13 times 4 plus 1 should be the same as 11 times 4 add 9. I'm just substituting this answer of x is 4 back into my equation at the top. So 13 times 4, well that's 52. Add 1. Is that the same as 44 add 9? So 52 add 1 is 53, and 44 add 9 is 53. So I definitely know I've done this question right. So this is a quick step here that only takes a matter of minutes, especially if this is on a calculator paper, and then I know I've guaranteed these three marks. So my answer is x is 4. Let's do one more example. This one's slightly different. So here I have a minus 2y on one side and a 6y on the other. So I need to choose to get rid of one of these. So if I choose to get rid of the 6y, I will have to subtract 6y from both sides. If I want to get rid of my minus 2y, I will have to add 2y to both sides. And that's what I'm going to do because this won't leave me with any negatives whereas subtracting 6y from both sides would. So my first step here is add 2y to both sides. So let's see what that leaves me with. On the left hand side I've got my minus 2y and add 2y which cancel each other out to nothing. So I've just got 1. And on my right hand side I've got 6y add 2y, that's 8y and then plus 5 as well. So now I've got my simple equation to solve, so I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, so I get minus 4 equals 8y, and then divide both sides by 8, so minus 4 divided by 8 is minus a half, and that's what y is. Again, I can double check this like last time. It's going to be slightly harder to double check. So I'd probably only do this if I'm very confident with my substitution skills or if I had a calculator. But let's do it now. So I've got 1 minus 2 times minus a half. And that should be the same 
as 6 times minus a half add 5. So 2 times minus a half is minus 1. So this is 1 minus minus 1. And then on my right hand side, I have 6 lots of minus a half. That's minus 3 add 5. So 1 minus minus 1 is 2. And minus 3 add 5 is 2 as well. So I know I've definitely got this question right. I've banked my three marks and my answer is minus a half. Here's two questions for you to try. You can pause the video and then unpause it when you're ready to see the solutions. Here are the full solutions. So the first question you should have got 6.5 and the second one the answer was 3. I didn't check my answers here purely because I didn't have enough room but you could have substituted these back in to double check that they work. I will just say you don't have to subtract 3t from both sides here to start with. You could have subtracted the 5t. It's just much easier to avoid going into negatives. And same with this one here, you could have chose to subtract 5x from both sides, but it's just much nicer not having to deal with that negative. Thank you for watching.